Okay, today we're going to do 3.13.3 equations for A and B. The concept that we're going to focus on for these two examples is on finding the maximum and minimum values of uh, trigonometric functions. So let's start with question 4A. So 4A, they say that we have y is equals to 3 sine theta minus 4 cosine theta. So very quickly, to find maximum and minimum values of this, we simplify this two into using the R formula. What I get is y equals to R sine theta sine the sine follows minus alpha. By now you should be experts on this ready but very quickly R is equals to 3 square plus 4 square square root R is equals to 5. For alpha tangent alpha is equals to 4 over 3. Ignore the negative sign as I said many times already. It was tangent 4 over 3. Well, I guess 53.130. Okay, so alpha is 53.130 degrees. Then, now, what happens here is this. Okay, we just simplify. This becomes this whole um, term becomes 5 sine theta minus 53.130 degrees. Okay, very quickly now, alright, um, sine, okay, for the sine curve, let's sketch it very quickly. Where does the maximum value of sine occur? Okay, this is the sine graph, alright, okay, this is theta, okay, this is y. So we label 180, 360. So if you remember from this diagram, the maximum value for the sine graph is 1. Okay, So 1 is down here. And it occurs at 90 degrees. Okay, So maximum value of sine graph is 1 at 90 degrees. Similarly, okay, the minimum value, so here, let me label that for you max value of y equals to sine theta is 1 when theta is 90 degrees. Similar concept, okay, the minimum value will occur down here, okay, at 270 degrees. So I can say that the minimum value of y equals to sine theta is negative 1. Okay, and here's negative 1 when theta is equals to 270 degrees. Okay? Okay, so if maximum value, okay, we cover 5 first. Maximum value of the sine function is 1, okay? So when this function is equals to 1, Okay, so 1 times 5, that means the maximum value is 5. I repeat one more time. For a sine function, max value is 1. Okay, so 1 times 5 will give me 5. So I'll write it down here for you. <coughs> maximum value is equals to 5 times 1. Okay, I'm writing the 1 in red because I'm trying to tell you that this portion here is equals, okay, this portion here is equals to 1. So maximum value is 5. Okay. And when does this occur? It occurs right when the angle here is equals to 90 degrees. And this occurs maximum value 5 when theta minus 53.130 degrees is equals to 90 degrees. So it means inside the bracket, right, it will become 90 degrees. So I solve my theta value is actually 143.130 degrees. Express it correct to 1 dp is 143.1 degrees. Oops. Similar idea for the minimum value. For the minimum value, for sine function plus minus 1, so minimum value will be 5 
times. Remember just now we wrote in pink, right? Negative 1. So it's 5 times negative 1. So my minimum value is equals to negative 5. And this occurs when theta minus 53.130 degrees. So inside this bracket, this bracket here must be equals to 270 degrees for the minimum value to occur. This bracket equals to 270 degrees for the minimum value to occur when theta minus 53.130 degrees is equals to 270 degrees. So in this case, when the theta value is equals to <coughs> 323.130 degrees, when theta is equals to 323.1 degrees. That's the idea for the minimum value. Minimum value negative 5 when the theta is 323.1. In case you're confused about this 143.1, just look at it this way. Notice, right, if I take 143.1 and put it inside here, I get 143.1 minus, uh, okay, 143.130 minus 53.130. Notice I get 90 degrees inside the bracket. Then 5 sine 90, okay, or 5 sine uh theta one four three point one three zero minus fifty three point one three zero okay is equals to ta -da, five. Similarly for this three two three point one degrees right I'll get a minimum value. Let's take a look. Five sine three two three point one three minus fifty three point one three zero fifty three point one three you press, ta-da, the value is negative 5. Maximum value, minimum value. Okay, now we quickly move on to the next question. 8B. Okay, 8B. Find the maximum values again. This one is a bit more complicated, but don't worry. So, 8B. Y equals to... 3 minus 7 cosine theta plus 24 sine theta. Okay, we will just quickly do this. I just rearrange my equation to get plus, okay, 24 sine theta minus 7 cosine theta. This way is faster, the sign is in front, and then this negative 7 cosine theta. I just quickly apply the R formula. Okay, I will shortcut this. I expect to see the working in the exam, but for now, I'll just shortcut this. <coughs> 25 sine theta minus alpha inverse tangent. 16.260 degrees okay so now if you take note right of uh, this portion here notice right that the maximum value of this function here is equals to 25 times positive 1 because sine function plus minus 1 uh, maximum value 1 minimum value 1 is equals to 25 Okay, I'm just talking about this part here. Okay, this part here, maximum value is 25 when theta minus 16.260 degrees is equals to maximum value of sine occurs at 90 degrees. Okay, this portion here on here. Okay, and the minimum value is equals to 25 times negative 1 is negative 25 when theta minus 16.260 degrees is equals to 270 degrees. That's the idea. So, for this entire function, 3 plus 25 sine theta minus 16.260 degrees, the maximum value in this case, so the maximum value of the entire thing now uh, is equals to 3 
plus this part here maximum value is 25 so maximum value is 28 when theta minus 16.260 degrees is equals to 90 we have to solve it theta is equals to 90 plus 16.26 so is 106.3 degrees similarly the minimum value Okay, this still remains as 3, you cannot change the mi negative 3 because it's just 3 itself. So it's just 3 minus this thing here, the minimum value is minus 25, so it's 3 minus 25 is negative 22. This occurs when theta minus 16.260 degrees is equals to 270 degrees. I solve for theta, theta equals to 2, 8, 6.3 degrees and that's the idea behind using the R formula to find the maximum and minimum value of a trigonometric function